turn on Gwen's room. <laughs> you got it, turning Gwen's room on. In today's video, we're in the baby's room and we're gonna show you some of our favorite Google Home commands. Let's get started. Hey everybody, welcome to Tech with Brett, where we help tech work for you. And now with the new continued conversation feature on the Google Home, it's super easy to talk and have a conversation with the Google Home. So today I thought I'd show you some of our favorite commands to use in the baby's room. This is baby Gwen, say hi Gwen, say hi. So let's start with some of her favorites. Hey Google, what does a dog sound like? Here's what a dog sounds like. Now we have found over a hundred animal sounds, so you can also just say, what do animals sound like? Sure, here are three animal sounds. A goose. <laughs> a yak. And a chameleon. Whoa, those are pretty cool. Now if you'd like to show your kids some of the different musical instruments that are available, you can do the same thing. Hey Google, what do instruments sound like? Sure, here are three musical instrument sounds. A tenor saxophone. A baritone saxophone. And a didgeridoo. Good job. Now you can also do automobile sounds. What does a vehicle sound like? Oh. Sure, here are three vehicle sounds. An airplane. See it up there? An ice cream truck. <laughs> There's the ice cream. And a UFO. <laughs> I don't know if that's a real thing. Also, you can say, what does a unicorn sound like? Here's what a unicorn sounds like. Whoa. So these sounds are pretty fun. Now you can also have it sing songs. Hey Google, sing the ABCs. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T-U-V-W-X-Y-N-Z Now I know the ABCs Next time you sing with me Can you clap? Good job! Sing the hokey pokey. Sorry, I can't help you with that because it requires feet. Oh, so there are a bunch of other songs. So there are a bunch of other songs that it is able to sing to you as well. I will leave this full list of children's songs, animal sounds, musical instruments, and transportation sounds in the description below. And if there are any other commands that you like to use, I'd love to know about them in the comments below. If you would like to find some other baby actions you can use, select the menu up here and then go to explore. And this is all the different actions that you can use with your Google Home. So here I'm just going to search for baby. And you could also search for toddler and it will pull up things. So here there's one called baby stats. So baby stats would allow you to actually let the Google Home know when you fed your baby, when it went to the bathroom, and you would link your account here and you could then learn all about how to use this action right here. There's some of the different commands that you could use. You would just need to activate the Google Home and then you could say ask baby stats to add a feeding. And so then it would keep a record of those different feedings. So there are some other ones right here where you could ask it how old your baby is. So then it would know the exact age of your baby. Maybe you're forgetful like me, that's pretty helpful. So you can just go through and play with a bunch of these. So here's one called sing a lullaby. So you can ask it to just sing lullabies or you could use these other commands. And like I said, 
I will leave those down below. And then here are some other fun ones. You could talk to a little baby bum and it could have you sing songs. There's another one where you can teach your kids how to eat vegetables better. Here's one called Hush My Baby and it will play a hush sound for 30 minutes. And then there's another one I've used before called Nightlight. Hey Google, talk to Nightlight. Sure, here's Nightlight. Nightlight on. I wish you sweet dreams with this melody. And we'll play that song for about 30 minutes. If you go into the Google Home app, you can also verify right here if these songs are still playing. So here I could pause and play the songs in Gwen's room without having to go back in there. And if I wanted to turn on the rain sounds in her room from this Google Home, I would just need to activate it and say play rain sounds on Gwen's room. And then it would actually start that back up again. Because your Google Home is powered by the Google Assistant, it then has access to pretty much any web page on the entire internet. So instead of going here to the search bar to find out about certain things for your baby, you could actually just quickly ask the Google Home and it would give you a response. Hey Google, when should my toddler stop using a binky? On the website parents.com, they say, the good news for parents puzzling over pacifiers, experts agree they're entirely appropriate for soothing baby. Still, pediatric dentists recommend limiting pacifier time once a child is two and eliminating it by age four to avoid dental problems. Thank you. I enjoy receiving positive feedback. So thank you for thanking me. A thank loop. <laughs> so that is how you can have your own personal assistant to help you with all of your baby needs. Now when it's finally time for bed, some of the things that you can do is have it turn off your smart lights, turn on white noise or rain sounds, and you could do that in multiple commands. But I've already set up a routine where we're gonna do that all at one time. To create a routine, you can go into the menu of the Google Home app, go down to more settings, and then scroll down here to routines. And then I have created a routine that says, say goodnight to Gwen. So when I say that, or when I say night night, it's actually going to sing twinkle twinkle little star, repeat goodnight Gwen, so it's going to actually say goodnight to her. Then here it's going to turn off the light in her room. And then down here I have it where it's going to actually play the sleep sounds. And you could choose any of these different options, rain, ocean, babbling brook, river, thunderstorm, forest, country night, fireplace, or white noise, all from the Google Home. Now when we play it, it does play for a few hours at a time, but once it starts, you could ask the Google Home to repeat, and it will keep playing that. Now let's try it out. Hey Google. Night, night. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high. Like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Good night, Gwen. Okay, turning Gwen's room off. And there it plays the rain sounds and we are ready for bed. Now one other trick to using the Google Home in the baby's room is going into the devices tab in the Google Home application, scrolling down and going to that Google Home device, going here into the settings, and then you will want to go into night mode and turn on night mode. And once you turn this on, you could have it set where at bedtime, let's say bedtime is now eight o'clock. So after 8 p.m., it's going to quiet down the Google Home as well as it's going to turn down the brightness of the LED. And here you can select when you want that to turn off. And you could also turn on do not disturb. So when do not disturb is on, it will mute the reminders and broadcast feature from entering into the baby's room. So that's definitely something I wanna to want to have on so that it doesn't wake up nap time or even wake her up in the middle of the night. And then here you can adjust the brightness of the LEDs and you'll see that those go a little dim there and they go really bright. And then here we can set the volume. And so at night we want it at like a four or something or three so that it's not very loud. So that is how you can use the night mode in the baby's room.
If you guys have any further questions about any of the baby commands that you can use, let me know in the comments below. And I'm going to leave a list of every baby command that we have found, as well as Grandpa, he's helped us out with this list. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Say bye bye. Bye bye. Check out this playlist over here for more tips that you can use in your Google Home. I can be a